use of fewer pesticides and fertilizers as a method for sustainable farming is tricky because while they put a huge strain on the environment, it also seems nearly impossible to produce enough food for the future without them. Fertilizers, when not taken up by a plant, are absorbed by water and become a part of a farm's runoff. The water flows into rivers and eventually the ocean. The purpose of fertilizers is to promote growth, so, so they continue to do this with marine plants, such as algae. We see this problem now in the Gulf of Mexico, where algae absorb too many nutrients and end up using the water's oxygen to a point where other aquatic plants and animals can no longer survive. The blooms also shield light from entering the water, and this prevents marine plants from photosynthesizing. Pesticides, along with fertilizers, often work up to their expectations when first applied to a crop. However, a scientific law called the sliding reinforcer proves that over time, the targeted pests or even the plants will become immune to the treatment, and higher and higher levels of the chemical will be required, which is unsustainable. In order to achieve a sustainable balance, crops should be grown where it, is where it is naturally environmentally appropriate, in order to reduce the need for added chemicals. Currently, our food system and our calorie intakes rely on only a handful of important seed varieties. These varieties of corn, soy, wheat, and other crops compose the majority of the foods you would find in a supermarket. However, if we were to lose these crops, what would we do? For years, thousands of establishments called gene banks have been collecting and storing seeds from as many plants as possible. These banks protect many vital crops and would be extremely useful in the event of a massive crop destruction. With the severe climatic events occurring due to climate change, they may be necessary for future food production. GMOs, or genetically modified organisms, may become extremely important when it comes to increasing our food supply while reducing strain on the environment. New research surrounding GMOs is concerning how to help crops resist severe climate and weather conditions. These types of GMOs have many benefits, however, they are very expensive at this point in time and could take a lot of time to fully implement. Sustainable agriculture not only ensures a steady supply of food for the future, but it also provides a gateway to local food. Local food automatically costs less to transport and wastes fewer resources because it is produced closer to the target. Local food also provides positive externalities to the community. Positive externalities are simply the benefits that exceed the cost of producing a product.
consider the benefits and drawbacks of sustainable agriculture so that we can take the steps necessary to make a transition as quickly as possible.